Here we are then, back with some more Football Manager 2022 and another part of Championship to Champions League with Cardiff City. Thank you for all of your comments in the previous video and today's uh, Newcastle video on uh, Football Manager 22 or 2022 giveaway. For any details on that, go and check out last episode or today's Newcastle video. Um, I will be picking a, vi a winner in a few days' time. I'll be announcing it on Twitter as well as in uh, that day's video content. So uh, make sure you're, you're leaving a like, getting involved down in the comments section every day uh, so that you're not missing a thing. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting into today's action, which will be a Welsh derby against Swansea City, who are battling relegation from the championship, very likely to be relegated at this stage. And then we'll be taking on Reading, who are uh, sort of mid-table, could potentially have a late surge towards the, the playoffs, but it's looking unlikely at this juncture. Um, since you were last with me, again, it's uh, it's you know been okay. We drew one all against Stoke City. Um, Dwight Gale getting the goal there, and then most recently we beat Middlesbrough in the 92nd minute, 1-0, with an Isaac Vassell goal in that one. So that all means that we are currently in fourth place in the championship table. Four points clear of seventh place Blackburn Rovers. If we do win this match against Swansea today, we go to 70 points. And, you know, it is still a little bit possible that we could get automatic promotion. Bournemouth are already up uh, and very, very close to being declared champions. Uh, but you can see by our goal difference, we are pun punching above our weight at the moment. We are not a team that really should be up here. If we look at the season preview... Uh, they predicted that we were we're gonna finish ninth, so it's not it's not where we where we should be. And certainly, if we go up this season, I think we'll be coming straight back down. Having said that, I think uh, at the end of the season, either way, even if we do go up, maybe we we do look elsewhere at other jobs. This is a, a journeyman at the end of the day. Uh, but I am enjoying my time at Cardiff City. We'll see how these final seven games go, and. If we're in the Premier League, we'll obviously give it a whirl. But if if we don't quite make it this season, we'll see what's out there. Because why not? Uh, squad performances then. Top goal scorer is uh, Kiefer Moore with seven. Isaac Fassell's got seven as well. But uh, Dwight Gale is making a late claim to it. He's on six from ten. Six for James Collins as well. Top assists is Hatton Ben Arthur now with eight. Seven for Rals and uh, five for Big. And top average rating is Curtis Nelson with a 7.14, 7.13 for Dylan Phillips and a 7.12 for Isaac Vassell. So this is the team that we are putting out there today. We have got Dylan Phillips in goal with Flint, Morrison and Nelson in defence. We've then got Bakuna and Bagan as our wingbacks, uh, although... We are going to swap uh, Thomas Sang into that. And I think we're going to put Lamina Kone in. Maybe I didn't pick this squad. Who knows? Uh, but Sang and Bagan as our wing-backs. Volks and Rawls in the midfield. Tom Lawrence comes back from injury. And he's going to be starting behind Andy Carroll and Dwight Gale up top. So let's get into it then. Um, and I have realised I've signed a lot of the old Newcastle boys. You know, probably past their best. The likes of Ben Arthur. The likes of... Uh, Andy Carroll, the likes of Dwight Gale. But at this level, they're still doing a job for us. So we will see how we get on today against Swansea City. We are going to go straight away and hopefully be attacking from the off. That is what we want to do. Here's Kone. Kone on the ball. Gets it out wide to Sang now. Sang, he's going to keep pushing forward. Back to Kone. Volks. Volks now to Morrison. Morrison to Nelson. Nelson now pushing forward. Here's Bagan. He has a Rawls forward to Gale. And that was an absolutely wonderful bicycle kick. But it has been called offside. Um, that was going to be his seventh goal of the season. Unfortunately, though, we don't get to see what the disallowed goal would have looked like. Um, yeah, disallowed goals. That's what we want to see. In the, the replay cam. But um, it was a, certainly a good start of the match. Some good football being played, particularly by Coney and a good ball forward by Rawls there. And 
what a finish it was from Gale. That's into the middle corner. It was there. Couldn't do anything with it. Laid now on the counter-attack for Swansea City. Great tackle from Will Volks there. Volks on the ball now. Gets it to Coney. Coney gets it to Carroll. Forward to Dwight Gale. Dwight Gale with a great chance. And he does score. Seventh goal of the season for Dwight Gale. And he is an absolute peach of a championship striker. Uh, he may not be a, a great Premier League player. But he can score goals in the championship. And what a pass through from Andy Carroll as well. Brilliant finish from Dwight Gale. And we are 1-0 up in the Cardiff Swansea derby. That is what we are talking about. Excellent stuff. But Swansea now on the attack. Oberfemi uh, couldn't quite get it. But uh, here's Bennett now to Bidwell. Bidwell on the ball. Now Oberfemi forward to Nico Williams, is it? It is. Well, well, well. One all. Hmm. That's not what you want to see. I don't want to watch that again. Nico Williams. Is he the Nico Williams? That... Uh, yeah, I suppose he, he does play for Liverpool, so it is him. And that can turn into a, a decent player on, on FM. But there you go, half-time. Now it's happening. Unfortunately, so let's thrash our arms about and say I'm far from pleased with that. But yeah, you let me know down in the comments section. How are you getting on with your saves in FM22? Uh, what are your plans? Are you doing a journeyman? Maybe some of you are playing along with the Championship to Championship Champions League idea. Maybe if I could say it the first time, it would have a bit more of a ring to it. But here's Gail on the ball. Can he whip it in? Gets it back to Rawls now. Rawls back to Nelson. Nelson to Rawls. Here's Lawrence. Carroll loses it. And now all the way back to Bender. Bender forward. Here's Lawrence. Lawrence to Volks to Rawls. Here's Lawrence. Tom Lawrence with the shot and that's wide. Unlucky there. That was a decent little move. And Lawrence looking pretty good. We are going to bring him off for uh, Hat and Ben Arthur though. Because he is our top assister at the end of the day. Andy Carroll's going to come off. Uh, Isaac Vassell is going to come on instead. He's going to be a pressing forward on attack. And hopefully he will manage to score some good goals here. Here's Sang. Gets it to Ben Arthur now. Ben Arthur to Vassell. The two new boys on the pitch. And uh, Vassell's lost it to Bidwell. Here's Nitchum now to Bennett. Back to Nitchum. Nitchum forward to Nico Williams. This is a good run, but a good tackle from Bagan. Bagan loses it, though. But now Rolls gets it back. Nelson forward. Vassell loses it. Here's Nico Williams. That's forward from Nitchum. And here's Patterson. Oh, my goodness me. Jamie Patterson has put Swansea City 2-1 up. And this would give them the boost that they potentially need to stay up in the division. Who knows? But uh, it was a decent little ball from Oliver Nitchum. And Peterson. Oh, sorry, Patterson with the goal there. I think it's Oliver Nitchum, isn't it? Yeah. Or Olivia Nitchum. Sorry. Here's uh, Volks on the ball. Gets it to Corne now. Corne to Ben Arthur. Back to Rawls. Here's Vassell now. Vassell with the shot. Gale was there as the poacher. And I can't believe he hasn't scored that. We are going to now go attacking. Mm. Bagan not having the best of games. But what do I do about it? That's the question. Uh, Volks is going to come off. I'm going to stick Colwell on. Colwell hasn't really played too much. Over the last few matches. But he is a, a good player. And let's encourage the boys. Patterson into the middle. Nitchum with the header. And that's over the bar. Top of the net. Ah, oh, Typical, isn't it? Again, decent form off camera. Curse of the camera on it. The worst time for it as well. Oh, it's gone in though. It's gone in. And Hat and Ben Arthur has caused an absolute freak of a goal and Nico Williams has scored it's gone down as an own goal let's have a look at this Ben Arthur shoots it wasn't going anywhere near Nico Williams what a brilliant finish <laughs> and he's got us a point out of it but Swansea will be disgusted with that because they had it won they had it won except they didn't because it's a two-all draw and that has virtually took us out of the uh, the, the running for um, automatic promotion. We're 12 points behind Sheffield United with six games to go. 
It's not really going to happen, is it? Although they did lose today against Stoke. Uh, West Brom won against Birmingham. You know, we also are taking on um, West Brom. So, you know, it, it's difficult to see them both losing that, that many games in a row. What what does he want? He wants a new contract. I think let's get Morrison to nip that one in the bud. Oh, unable. Ah, let's just pretend it didn't happen. We don't need to, to talk to him. Uh, so, yeah, we will be back for the Red and Match, unbeaten in four now. And actually only won one of the last uh, however many matches that is. I don't think I can. Um, I can't see how many I've selected there. It's a pity that. I'd, I'd like to see how many are selected. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So only lost one of our last 11 games. So in good form going into the business half of the season. Let's see how we get on against Reading. Just the one change for the Reading match then. We have brought in Isaac Vassell as a pressing forward to replace Andy Carroll. By the way, a little preview of me drinking me fan. I accidentally unpaused the video. But uh, hey, a bit, a bit behind the scenes content for you all there. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, didn't enjoy too much though. And you are ready now to enjoy some fabulous football away to Reading. I forgot who we were playing there because it doesn't... Ah, oh, I've just told them there's no pressure on the defence. That, that <laughs> Oh, no, they're all going to stand there like lemons now, aren't they? Um, we will see. Maybe it was a genius team talk. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really intrigued to, to find out what you guys are doing as saves. Uh, I always enjoy reading your comments. And I might not get back to you straight away, but I always do read the comments. Um, and always will give them a heart and, uh, and get back to you as, as soon as I can. Um, but there you go, Tom Lawrence. That is what we paid 500 grand for. That is a fantastic finish. Five minutes into the game, that was a lovely ball over the top. Uh, so it was Sang back to Kone, back to Volks, and then Volks over the top. A run in behind from Lawrence, and that is a beautiful finish in off the post. And it's 1 0 to the Cardiff. Very, very good. Yaki da. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, well, we go another. Possible chance here. He has Rolls. Gets a forward at Gale. Rolls over the top. But uh, Shea has it as the goalkeeper for them. And uh, now here's Zhao to get it to Drinkwater. And Puskas. And it's a good save from Phillips. And Danny Drinkwater. How the mighty has fallen. Goodness me. He's playing as a right midfielder for Reading now. Gale gets it forward. Here he is again. Now Lawrence. And he just seemed a little bit tentative on that. As if. You know, he was kicking a, a baby or something. <laughs> he just seemed to give it a little, the, the, just a little nudge. Didn't want to stick his laces through it. Uh, he has Loron to Puskas to Bristol. Now he has uh, Baba on the left-hand side. Bristol forward and uh, Baba into the middle and Zhao. And now Holmes. I thought he was just going to lace that one, but he didn't. Holmes again. He's going to cross it in. Oh, and that's a push from Lamina Kone. What is he doing? Oh, and Pushkas now with a, a possibility from the penalty spot. He steps up and he scores. That was a terrific penalty. And Reading are back in the match. George Puskas scores his sixth goal of the season. I don't want to watch that rubbish again, though. Um, Fulham 2-0 up against Coventry City. Dwight Gale's picked up an injury. That is a disaster. And they've just hit the par. I feel like he could... Couldn't need to come off. He's gashed his up my leg. Bless his cotton socks. Right. Let's get Andy Carroll on. He can be a supporting target forward now. And you never know. He might might score some goals. Who knows? He, you know, he's done all right, you know. Uh, Andy. He's, uh, he's a big lad. He's a rangy striker, according to FM this year. Which I find hilarious. I've never seen anybody described as rangy. But uh, Andy Carroll is his own beast. His own beast. Holmes. Zhao to Holmes. Oh, nice one from Riles. Here's Lawrence now. Carroll. Oh, what are you doing, mate? Here he is again. Now Morrison. Uh, Lawrence gets it out to Bagan now. Bagan to Riles. Go on, son. Riles to Lawrence. Here's Volks. No, loses it. And it's Moore at the back again. Here's Bagan. Bagan still going. Decent run this. 
Big and into the middle. Vassell's there. Oh, how's he missed that? Oh, what a shame. I, you know what? I did not wear um, Kiefer Moore is. Where's Kiefer? Where is he? I, I can't remember him getting injured. He may well have done. Sang's having a horrible game. A 5.9. Not often you see that. Ben Arthur, he's going to come on um, for Vassell. Why not? Um, and he can be a Trek Batista. Because why not? We made the grand old mistake there of not pausing it while playing on. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was going to be a red and goal. But Rawls now on the counter-attack. Still going. Rawls still going. This is great. And he's still going. He whips it in. Andy Carroll's there. And that was going to be the moment. He has big and still... Oh, he's lost it. Andy Carroll wasn't interested. He couldn't stick his boot through it. So I thought, nah, I can't be bothered now. Rawls to Volks. He has Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur, what a run this is. Hat and Ben Arthur. How's he missed that? That was a wonderful little run there. What's his pace these days? 11, apparently. He looked, looked a lot pacier than that there. But uh, what's Andy Carroll's pace? Five. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right, he has Bagan. No, Zhao's got it. A corner away. He has Ben Arthur now. Ben Arthur back to Phillips. Phillips boots it forward. Andy Carroll's there. You're not going to head it from there, mate. I know that you're, that you're good at heading a ball. But uh, you can't head a football that far. He has uh, Delhi Bashiru. It's a header and that's just wide from Puskas. Three minutes to go. And we're building from the back straight away here. And we've lost it. But here's Lawrence. He gets it back forward to Ben Arthur. Going to use his pace again. Gets it back wide to NG now. Into the middle. Andy Carroll. Oh, yes. The beast himself. Andy Carroll with the goal. He can head it from there. 12 yards out. That was brilliant. I thought Ben Arthur was going to score an absolute wonder goal. But got it back to NG. And then NG took a couple of touches. Went in for it. And Andy Carroll. Absolute bullet header into the back of the net. 2-1. That is what we're talking about. It is apparently a tight offside. Let's have a little look at this one. Um, I think he's R8. Yeah, the yellow line is, is us. So there you go. 2-1 is going to be the score. Come on. Yes. Well done, Andy Carroll. I still don't know why our in-game character wears a purple suit. Because it's quite clear on the main menu. My suit's black. Um, oh, bless his cotton socks. I mean, Dwight, what are we going to do without you? Seven goals in 12 games. I mean, that is a very impressive record. The last time he was in the championship was when uh, he played for West Brom. 23 and 39. Um, 23 and 32 for Newcastle in the 2016-17 season. Um, yeah. Very much a, a championship strike, isn't he? But, uh, yeah, bless his cotton socks. He's got a little cut on his leg and he's going to be out for, for two weeks. No. Uh, Kiefer Moore. Is he injured? I don't think he is, you know. Oh, no. Yeah, he must have just come back. So, yeah, he can play up to 60 minutes. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fractured ribs. I remember now. Kiefer. Kiefer Sutherland, you know. Um, but yeah, let's continue on. And there you go. Two two victories. Uh, four points out of six. Not two victories. But we did win that second one against Reading. And all of a sudden, it's looking rather tasty again, isn't it? We've got uh, three matches that I'm going to play before we have our end of season special. Where we take on Birmingham City and Derby County. As we look to take on the playoffs. I mean... I think we'd be very unlucky not to qualify for the playoffs at this point, but it's still possible. Uh, we have won 20 matches now, the third most in the league. So, as I say, I think it would be quite unlucky. It could happen, though, so we've got to keep our eye on that as we head into the final five matches. I really do apologise about that. Apparently, I'm tired. But uh, yes, that's where we're going to leave it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with the season finale. And then uh, early next week, hopefully, we will be back with the playoffs. That is what we want to see. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe 
for more FM22 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.